What's going on, Ken folk? It's your boy, Emery Anderson. We vlogging, y'all. Y'all been asking for them. We about to get into it. Let me make this disclaimer before we get started. I'm not a licensed counselor, nor am I your marriage therapist. I'm just a man who simply loves God and who's crazy, crazy about his wife. Aww. Nah, chill, y'all chill, chill, chill. She is fine though, you know what I'm saying? But I digress. I just wanna see you all have healthy relationships. I wanna see you guys have great marriages. I wanna see you grow. That's it, is that cool? All right, cool, let's get into it. The high jump. If you know anything about track and field, or you've watched the Olympics, then you've seen the high jump. I like how they do that little roll, you know what I'm saying? They hop over the bar. There's so much technique, so much skill, there's so much training that goes in place. Every little detail comes into play when trying to make it over the bar. Okay, check this out. This is what I've seen, and you've probably seen it too. The lower the bar, the more competitors that can get over it. It takes less skill, it takes less effort, less energy exerted to get over the bar. But as the competition goes along, you see they start raising the bar. And then those who aren't as qualified can't make it over the bar. Stay with me. See, by raising the bar, the less qualified athletes begin to get weeded out. And only those who are more qualified are able to continue competing. Stay with me. Now, here's the part that I, I really like and pay attention to. When you knock the bar over, you get a few more chances to make it over at that height. But see, what you got to do is you got to make adjustments. You know, they got to change up a little bit, make some adjustments so that this time, whatever they change allows them to clear the bar now that it's raised to another level. So now when it comes down to the finals, you got the most qualified athletes. All the unqualified athletes have been weeded out. Well, let me ask you this question. Where do you have your bar set? You wondering why everybody you meet, they ain't about nothing. Do we got goals? Mm. You got any drive? Mm. Integrity? Mm. Character? Mm. Is he at least faithful? Okay, I'm gonna try something else. He got a job. Oh my goodness. Why is your bar so low? Everybody can clear it. When you raise your bar, only those who are the most qualified can get over it. Remember, you're a prize. Check this out. Proverbs 31.10 says, who can find an excellent wife? I don't know. She is far more precious than jewels. Proverbs 31 is what I'm on, man. More precious than jewels and a gold chain. Keep this in mind. Remember, when you raise your bar, you raise your standards. You put value on your time. You put value on who you are. And only those who are able to meet you at the level where you are, or even exceed the level, can clear the bar. And maybe he can't clear the bar the first time. Is he willing to make the necessary adjustments to clear the bar next time? So what we talking about? High jumping. Kenfo, I hope you enjoyed this video. I pray that it blessed you. If you know someone else who you feel like this might be a word for them, please feel free to share. I'm asking you, go ahead, follow me on social media, subscribe to this page. I love you all. God bless you. And again, I just want to see you grow and have fruitful and beautiful relationships and marriages. I love you. Your boy M signing out.